Hello and welcome. I'm Nate 42 and this is just a small update for the printer. So, by now, if you've got the same printer as me, you'll have it all up and running. We'll probably have some things printed out. You know, I printed out a few things recently. I do have this. It's a little phone stand that I printed out. Really cool. Really cool. Really good. Um, yeah. Oh, and also this. Which you would have uh, seen in a video very recently um, yeah so what I'm gonna do next is print out a fan duct for the printer in order to uh, extend uh, ex expand what it can do so I have here the print guard for the printer this is probably a good place to mount the um, the new print duct so what we can end up doing is probably screwing into this uh, like drilling a hole or two into this um, and then, well, just putting the, the duct onto this and then having that kind of clamped underneath, blowing at the um, print head um, just to try and cool the freshly printed plastic down so that we can get a better quality print from it. And that is how it works. I will show you now the model of the, f well, the, the fan that I will be getting. It is a uh, Noctua NFA4 uh, 5 volt. Because I think that's all that it can take in there anyway, so there's no need in getting anything higher than that. Um, it should be a very quiet, quiet fan as well, and it should also push a lot of air because that's what the Noctuas are known for. Um, and also, I will show you the print head ducts that I will be printing. It's available on Thingiverse, so if you need that, you can get that downloaded as well. Now, I know this is a bit of a two-bit design. I mean, maybe in the future, I'll design a new fan guard. Or a new print head guard, sorry, um, and that can just get put onto it. They can get printed out, and then you could just put that on with maybe one or two different parts. Maybe I'll do that if there's enough demand for that. Then maybe I will. Um, but at the moment, just screwing it onto there, making your own holes in it and stuff like that, not going to be that big of a deal, and it will save a lot of time as well in actually uh, getting a new one created. Because I mean, why waste the time doing it if you've if you can just do it easier um, no point um, so yeah that about wraps it up for this I will take you over now to the 3d print of the fan duct and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes Okay guys, that was the print of the fan duct. Um, don't forget to come back in the next episode where we'll get fitting all of this stuff together. Uh, I need to order the fans, I'll do that tonight. I'm, I just want to make sure that the sizing was right on the part that I printed out. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think, follow me on Twitter, that's at me for 42 and thanks for watching.